If you are looking to build AI for an agent for your business, the new OpenAI real-time voice API is a game changer. It enables a hyper realistic voice with very low latency, and I'm gonna show you how to utilize it. You can get this set up in minutes with no code, and even better, I'll show you how you can actually get 60 minutes of API usage for completely free. I've built AI phone systems for various industries and tested almost every platform out there. In this video, I'll be using Retail AI, who has sponsored this video, to show you how to create your own AI for an agent using the real-time voice API. First, I'll explain what makes the real-time API different from traditional AI voice systems. Then we'll dive into retail AI to see how to set up your own agent, activate the real-time API, and then test the system in action. My goal is to keep you updated on the latest advancements in AI tech for businesses, so you can stay ahead of the curve. By the end, you'll know how to create a fully functional open AI real-time AI phone agent where there is no code required. To get started, I want to actually cover how AI phone systems are built today. Currently, five components make up an AI phone system, each playing a very crucial role in its function. So number one is the AI model. So this is the brain behind the operation. It's really the part of the system that generates all the responses. The AI model will process the conversation and decide how to respond based on your input. This is what your typical open AI GPT model does. The second piece is the transcribe. So this tool listens to your voice, converts it into text, and sends that text to the AI model. You can think of this as the system's ears, it allows the AI to hear you. The accuracy of the transcriber is very critical because if the system doesn't understand what you're saying, the AI won't be able to generate any relevant responses. Now that the AI has generated a response, it must be delivered back to you. So this is where the voice model comes in. It converts the AI's text-based responses into speech, turning words into audio that sounds like a human voice. So now we've got the AI, the transcriber, and the voice models all working together, but none of this would matter if you obviously couldn't make the call. So this is where the phone provider comes in. The phone provider integrates the system with an actual phone number so the AI can make and receive phone calls. And then finally, we need something to connect all of these pieces together so the AI phone or AI voice platform connects the AI model transcriber, voice model, and phone provider. It's really just a cohesive system. And so this is really just the glue that allows everything to work seamlessly so you don't have to piece together each component manually yourself. So as you can see, there are obviously a lot of moving parts that need to be working together for this system to function. And while the systems work pretty well at the moment, all of these separate components do introduce some element of latency or delays between when you speak and when the AI processes your speech and when it actually responds. So each element, whether it's the transcriber or the voice model can just add a little bit of delay. But here's where things are getting really interesting. So just a few weeks ago, OpenAI released access to its new real-time voice API, and this is a total game changer. With OpenAI's real-time voice API, you no longer need to deal with separate components for each part of the call. Instead, OpenAI has packaged the AI model, transcriber, and voice provider all into one API request. So everything from the AI thinking, hearing, and responding is now happening almost simultaneously. So let me show you of a quick demo of how this actually works and how it sounds. Hi there, this is Kate from Retail Health. May I speak with Cindy, please? Yeah, this is Cindy. Great. I wanted to remind you about your annual checkup on Thursday, April 4th, 2024 at 10 a.m. PDT. Are you available for the appointment? Yeah, that sounds great. So as you can hear, the response time is incredibly fast. The system feels more fluid and natural, reducing the lag typical with older setups. So this speed allows for real-time human-like conversations without the awkward pauses or delays that we have seen before. The reduced latency will mean a better customer experience. Conversations will now feel smoother, more natural, and less robotic. Having everything in one API request now makes it easier to customize and fine tune the voice and tone of the AI. So OpenAI has obviously already shown us how to modify the style and tone of the AI's voice by simply just giving it instructions to do so. So there's really no need for any complicated voice model tweaks. So without further ado, let's actually go ahead and build this. So this right here is the retail AI platform. So this is where we're gonna be building our entire agent, connecting all of the platforms together. So this is our AI for an agent development platform where essentially everything that we do is gonna be right here. To get started with retail, you can go ahead and sign up using my link in the description to create your own account. And once you've done that, you'll land on a page that looks just like this. You'll land in your workspace. And this is where we're gonna be creating all of our agents. Once your account is created and you're on this main dashboard page right here, what you can go ahead and do is just create your agent right away. So we're gonna go ahead and click the top right button and click create agent. And you'll notice that we get three different options when creating our agents. So retail has a few different options. The main two are the single prompt agent and and the multi-prompt agent. Now, the single prompt agent is what I've showcased previously on the channel. This is where we provided a set of instructions in a prompt, and then this prompt is the main prompt it uses to base the entire assistant off of. There's also the multi-prompt agent, and this is for actually attaching multiple prompts together. This is not something that I will cover in this video. If you would like to see a video using the multi-prompt stage, whether it's actually got like a bit of a canvas where you can actually drag and drop blocks. If you would like to see that, let me know in the comments. 
Otherwise, we're gonna start off with the single prompt agent. Once we've gone ahead and clicked that, we're gonna get this right here where we can actually select a template. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna click on start from blank. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you're gonna land on a page that looks just like this. So once again, very similar to the Vapi platform. If you have seen my other videos on that platform, what we're doing is we're providing a prompt in the instruction set right here. And these are gonna be used to base the entire assistant's personality from. So we're gonna talk about its role, its objective, its personality, and then the entire assistant is gonna be built based on how we tell it to act and respond. If you would like to see a video of me comparing the VAPI platform to Retail AI, definitely let me know in the comments. I've just gone back a step and I've actually just gone ahead and selected one of the templates that they provided. I just wanted to get the prompt in there so I didn't have to write out an entire prompt. If you did wanna learn about prompt engineering and prompting these voice assistants, I do have a few other videos that will get you up to speed as to how to do that. But for this purpose, of this video, I'm just gonna show you how to get the real-time voice API up and running. So this template has obviously got quite an extensive and well-written prompt automatically in here. And this is just a healthcare check-in random thing here. Kate from appointment department uh, at retail health calling. Obviously this is all fake. And this is just a template they generated. And we're gonna use this to talk to the real-time API. So, so first things first, I'm actually gonna test it without the real-time API. So once you've got your prompt set up or you can just choose one of the templates, all we need to do is go over to the test audio function right here. Now, a really good thing about Retail is that we can actually use test LL so instead of having to call the assistant every single time and use up quite a bit of money having been spent on all of the audio on 11 labs and things like that, we can actually just use test LLM and we can just type our response and we can just type hello and we can just directly talk to our prompt without having to endure all these costs and we're just talking to the LLM only. For the purpose of this, we do want to listen to the audio. So we'll just click test agent. Hi there. This is Kate from the appointment department at Retail Health. Am I speaking with Cindy? Yeah, that's right. You're speaking with Cindy. Great. I'm calling to remind you about your annual body checkup on Thursday, April 4th, 2024 at 10 a.m. PDT. Does that time work for you? Yeah. Are you able to count to 10 really quickly? I'm here to help with your appointment details. Is there anything the doctor should know before your checkup? So there you have the sort of current setup and structure for these voice assistants that's using the AI model and it's using something like 11 labs and it's using a separate transcriber model. So it's still pretty quick and it still sounds pretty good and would definitely work for a lot of use cases still, but we can really level it up a notch if we do want to take it further and we can go over to the models over here and we can select the real time beta option. Now, one thing that you will notice is that it is quite expensive. So it is much more expensive than the other models that we were using. So the GBD 4 model that I was just using is 5 cents a minute and the real time beta on retail is $1.50 a minute. So this is very expensive. Obviously, this is not something that you probably want to use for every single one of your calls, but depending on the use case, if you are sending a low volume of calls or you're receiving a low volume of calls, the real-time API, as you'll see, is quite realistic and it might be worth it depending on your use case. But this cost is definitely going to go down in a few weeks, a few months. No doubt that this cost is going to be reduced over time with all the new updates they're releasing all the time. Uh, we've, we've seen it with all the other models. They're always reducing in cost and I've got no doubt that this is going to be much cheaper in the future. So once we've gone ahead and selected that voice, it now says real-time beta up in the corner here. And you'll notice that the voices that we can choose have now unfortunately been restricted to only some of OpenAI's voices. Obviously, when we're using OpenAI, voice model, we're not going to be able to use something like 11 labs, or all these other providers, because they're not being involved in this process. We're only using open AI. So we only get these three voices. So maybe this is a deal breaker. If you do need a different type of accent or sound for myself, this is not something that I'd be able to deploy in the Australian market yet, because there's not any Australian voices, it's only American voices. Maybe that's fine. Maybe it's not, but for the most part, this is what we get. Now that we've got that all set up, I'm just going to click on test your agent. Hi there. This is Kate from Retail Health. May I speak with Cindy, please? Yeah, this is Cindy. Great. I wanted to remind you about your annual checkup on Thursday, April 4th, 2024 at 10 a.m. PDT. Are you available for the appointment? Yeah, that sounds great. Perfect. Is there anything you'd like the doctor to know before your checkup? Any new health concerns or changes? Um, I actually broke my arm if that's uh, a problem. I'm sorry to hear about your arm. It's important for the doctor to know. When did the injury happen? And are you currently receiving treatment for it? Uh, no, I haven't received any treatment for it. Thanks for letting me know. It's important to mention this to the doctor during your checkup. Just a reminder, please don't eat or drink before your appointment. If there are any changes in your health condition, please give us a call back. 
Do you have any other questions I can help with? So there you have it. That is how the real-time API sounds. It's really up to you to decide whether or not it's worth the substantial increase in cost compared to the GPT-4.0 model. For our clients, we're probably going to continue to use the 4.0 model just because of the significant cost savings compared to the real-time API. But obviously, if we are in a situation where we want the most realistic and the cost doesn't necessarily matter, the real-time API is a choice that I would make. It definitely has more of a personality to it and it definitely has more emotion and emphasis on some of the words as it was speaking through. And a lot of this still depends on the prompt we give it. So obviously the conversation that I just had, I'd say there are definitely some improvements to be made to the prompt. Uh, obviously the way that it was speaking wasn't the most human-like, uh, but I think if it was with a better prompt to say some more human-like things, uh, we could get it to sound really quite realistic and you'd see all the benefits of the real-time API. And like I said at the start of the video, if you do sign up for retail using my link in the description, you will get 60 free minutes to actually go ahead and just try out and test out the real-time API or any of their other systems. If you would like to learn a little bit more about retail and some of the other AI voice platforms on the market, I actually created a comparison video where I compared seven different AI phone callers and you can watch that video right here. If you would like an AI phone system for your business, don't hesitate to schedule a call using my link in the description.